Welcome to Busy Central Launch Event 2025 release Wave 1. And in this session, we will show you one new amazing functionality, and this is new copilot related to sustainability. Okay, let's see why was this copilot added at all. So let's look what we have and what we had and what we have in this moment related to sustainability. So how you can post uh, entries related to sustainability. You can use sustainability journal or from this way, general journal or purchase invoice if you have total emissions uh, from some external source. If you do not have uh, total emissions, you can use only sustainability journals in combination with emission factors and embedded formulas. But now we have some challenges. Challenges are that most emissions, again, do not have uh, total amounts already ready. So you will not get them, for example, for your hotel stays, for uh, your flights, for your uh, usage of car, of truck. You do not have ready total emissions. And then finding all these uh, emissions and adding the library or actually in a uh, sustainability subcategories, it requires to, to find the emission factor source of auditing, and this is complex. You need to open every time subcategory by subcategory to enter uh, this information, even if you can find. But even to get them, this is not easy. So what we wanted to do? We wanted to make it easier with Copilot, as always. What Copilot can do? Copilot can calculate total emissions, update emission factors if you want it, and add source for auditing. What does it mean if you want? In some cases, you want when first time when you get uh, calculated emissions, you want to update for a future emission factor, so you will not uh, use LLM every time uh, for the same uh, source. But in some situations, you do not want because you will use only uh, only one account for different uh, values. So system will not update emission factor. This is on you. You can set up how you want to, this uh, system to behave. So let's look in a copilot process flow. But please do not be surprised how complicated it is, because this is not complicated. We just wanted to show you all small details how the system is working, because this is a complex job um, uh, under the hood. OK, we will start with sustainability journal. We do not have emissions, and you need to enter some information. Actually, the same information as you are using if you want to use formulas. Account name, line description, country, code, if you have different from uh, your company information, if you if this is the same uh, country, system will use from company information, then some values, uh, what they will use about fuel, about distance, whatever you want to add. But what is crucial here? Crucial is your line description. System needs to understand what you want to collect. So this is not enough to say car. You need to explain which car, so system will find proper uh, emission for this car. Okay, then we will run Copilot. When we run Copilot, first the system will check is there already emission factors uh, in a system? So if we have emission factors, it will be showed in a copilot prompt as automated suggestion. So that's good. System will not run LLM. System will take it as uh, we already have calculated, and that's it. But if there is no emission factor in a line, this is a uh, question. So system will use LLM to find matching with your uploaded files. We will explain later what does it mean, uploaded files. If we find match, good. System will use emission factors from, the, from this file, embedded formulas, and when we finish, system will get a recommended suggestion. And proper source file, description from this file, so you will have everything necessary for auditing. If something is missing, you will have pre-processing contextual warning, so system will find what is missing, and you will get uh, some warning what you need to improve in the system. So this is if we have in a file. But now imagine we do not have a file, or system couldn't find the file. What the system will uh, work further? System will try to find some some public disinformation, and if we find a match for this uh, line and lines, system will again add in the same recommended suggestion, but this time source will be public information. Okay, what you can do is optional step. If we have, for example, in our file two or three matches, so system couldn't decide instead of you, you can maybe update description and then regenerate, or maybe you can choose one of these two or three options. Maybe it will be easier for you. You can decide which one you want to apply. So this is optional step to make it better for the usage. Then system will update 
all these values in a sustainability journal because you made some changes, if you made some changes, description of some other values, and proceed with the posting. What we will get, we will get calculated emissions in our journal, so you will have ready sustainability journal, and then, as I mentioned, if we wanted to have updated emission factor system, we update emission factor for future usage, if no, nothing. And then, when you post, system will update emission, sustainability journal, we will post and everything will be fine. Perfect. But, as I said, this is really complicated on the first sight. But what is here for you as a user? As I said, I wanted to show you how complicated it is because there are different combinations, even a little bit more than that. I try to simplify this chart, uh, what is happening under the hood. But, in general, what do you need to do? You need to run your sustainability journal to provide proper description and run Copilot. When you get suggestion, you need to review and you need to post. And that's it. Okay, how to prepare uh, emission factors? Uh, for emission factors, again, as I mentioned, we can option, we have an option to upload uh, files. What you can do? You can prepare Excel file, you can find public information from different sources, from different countries, because the most of countries are publishing this uh, information somewhere, and the most of these information are in Excel, already in Excel. If they are not, you need to move to Excel, but if they are, you can find them. You can, our suggestion is to cut and to organize in some specific columns, because uh, it can be a huge document, and system cannot, you know, system will try to find hours and hours to, uh, to, to connect uh, all of them, to match all of them. So, our suggestion is to cut them what you really need, and then upload. What you can do with the uploads? You can use different types of uploads, because um, you can upload, for example, one for one main for your country. Then, you will get, for example, you have 100 cars from one, the same manufacturer, and you can get table with emission factors from this car manufacturer or truck manufacturing. So, you can have specific, for some specific brand information. Then, you can get with a, from fly company, you are traveling the most, their emission factors. So, you can combine and system will all the time use all of them to find the best match. So, if system find is for specific uh, brand, the truck or car, system will find in this file. If no, system will try to find what is a common for all, um, comp all cars or trucks in your country. And this is if you have uh, files. Our recommendation is to have files because it will be much easier for you to work with that. Okay, what we can do further? Uh, you, you, you can create a line and after that you can upload file and that's it. You can use, as I said, by country, by type, and um, keep only important information. And what else? If you have obsolete information, you can easily mark this line and remove this file. So, you will not handle this obsolete information because in some situation, uh, information are changing from year to year, and you can upload new one. So, you can easily handle with uploading on the deleting files without any problems. So, that's it, what I wanted to show you before going directly to demo. So, now my colleague Arthur will show you how it works in practice. As I said, this is not complicated as looks like in a flowchart. You can see how it is easy when we are using a demo. Arthur. Uh, thank you, Alexander, for introduction. Uh, I'm going to start by demo straight from the sustainability journal, uh, as all the setup for this copilot is already done. Uh, in this uh, journal batch, you can see uh, the mix of different categories uh, for the cars, hotels, and air flights. And you can notice a new action, calculate CO2. Uh, this is the co-pilot action. Uh, I'm going to click it and then explore the results. Okay, so on this page, you can find a lot of information. Let's start from top. Uh, you can see the co-pilot suggested six lines out of six, and the confidence is 100%. It means everything was very accurate. Uh, and let's uh, explore the sub-page. On the sub-page, the first field uh, is a source. As Alexander mentioned, uh, there could be two options, either the uploaded file to Business Central or the public information. Uh, what you can do, you can um, drill down this field, and for the average petrol car, we can see that Copilot was able to find the right match. This is the petrol car. Uh, source description indicates uh, the name of the file. 
there's the high confidence for this uh, match and the emission factor is taken from the file. For the second line, which is the diesel car, I also want to drill down the source field and another match, this is the diesel car, same file and the other emission factor. Um, for the third line, which is the uh, Contoso car, uh, you can notice that the file is different. Uh, so this is the, the file with the cars only, and the match is also right. This is exactly the category of this car. Um, now you can also notice that the Horel, star, uh, Horel stay, uh, we got two lines. One line got source and the other one public information. The reason for that, that the second line or the hotels, this is not for the UK, this is for Germany. And since our file is only for UK, uh, Copilot didn't consider this file for Germany. It means that there is no match from the available sources and uh, the information is taken uh, from the public. Uh, and then for the last line, air flight, uh, also their perfect match, uh, short flight from to UK, uh, as also diffract file, and we got the emission factor. Perfect. We have all the emission factors. We can also scroll a little bit on the right. We can see the final values of emission factor. Uh, now, what we also can take a look, we can drill down the copilot suggested field. Uh, where we have six out of six lines. And here, extra information. So besides the emission factor and fields uh, taken from the journal, on the bottom page, we have the co calculation explanation. So for each line, we have the formula uh, for calculation, uh, the values and the final result. For the car, the formula is simple, distance traveled multiplied by emission factor, distance traveled taken from the business central, emission factor taken from the file, and the final result matches emission CO2 column. Uh, for example, for the hotel stays, the formula is a little bit different. Instead of distance, we have number of hotel stays. Uh, this information is also taken from Business Central, number of nights, and multiplied by emission factor from the file. Uh, for air flights, it's a little bit different. There is no distance in Business Central, only the route, and Copilot was able to calculate the distance. Uh, since this is the round trip, so we are talking about the distance from London to Frankfurt and back to, from Frankfurt to London, Copilot summarizes uh, the distance to the total distance. And then we have total distance multiplied by emission factor, final value, everything is accurate. Great. So after I verify everything with calculation explanation, I can close this window and I want to keep the results. I click keep it. And when I do this, the information is saved here in the emission CO2 and also in the um, uh, account category. Now, everything is perfect here because I have a good description in the line. Uh, but let me show you the other batch when there are some issues with the way um, how description are specified or the other uh, information is not accurate. I want to click calculate CO2 and then explain uh, what it's all about. Okay, uh, so the first line is uh, highlighted differently. Let's see why. If we scroll to the right, uh, there is a number of warning fields. We can drill down to this field, and we can see that more than one emission factor found in the file. Okay, we have this warning, but how we can actually see? Uh, this is the source field that I've already presented. If we drill down to this one, we can see that there are multiple different categories. And the reason is that because our description is not accurate, it only says motorbike and it matches different categories. Uh, what we can do, we can actually choose a specific line and then we can click OK and choose a specific, a specific category, a specific emission factor. But this is something that we don't want to do. We want to improve our description to make a really accurate match. So I want to click cancel here and I want to update description. For that, I need to drill down to copilot suggested field. And here I can update uh, my description without getting back to the journal right from here. Uh, so I want to say, okay, this is actually a large motorbike, not a, any other one. I want to close this page. Description uh, is here. And I want to click Regenerate to actually get the right match. I click Regenerate. And now you can see that the line is highlighted in green. On the right side, there is no warning. Emission CO2 is calculated. And if I drill down to the source field, I have only one match. 
more by large this is exactly what i have in description so now with this uh, correction in description uh, we have um, a better uh, result from copilot now for the second line you can see that there is no source and there is a warning here uh, if i click it i can see the distance is not provided uh, yeah, so there's only unit of measure for this line, but no distance. And that means that this line is not passed to the copilot. So we only have one line out of two suggested for copilot. And that concludes my demo. Back to you, Alexander. Thank you, Arthur, for this great demo. So you can see how good copilot can be and how big improvement in uh, collecting all emissions fee sustainability can be done with copilot. Now, just a few things before we close this session. Availability. Um, this copilot will come in 26.1 or .2. So we are currently completing uh, this functionality. And in this first release, it will be delivered as a public preview as all our copilot features. So every time first release is public preview. In this moment, we have officially support only for English language. It doesn't mean it cannot work in other languages. In, during our test, we tested a bit uh, in other languages, so probably it can work and it can provide good information in other languages, but officially we support in this release English language only. And what is now ongoing effort? So we want to continue uh, investment in uh, this copilot in next wave or waves, depends uh, how it's going. Minimum, we want to improve some specific areas we found in the meantime uh, during building this copilot. So we want to improve some specific areas. We want to prepare everything for general availability. So it should be GA as soon as possible. And idea is to enable support for other languages. Especially uh, sustainability reporting will be uh, will exist in many different countries. So we want to support as more languages as possible in this moment. So for now, that is everything about Copilot related to sustainability. Uh, I would like to invite you to watch another sustainability session because in this Busy Center launch event, we have eight sessions completely related to sustainability. And thank you for watching this video.